Macros on the Frag FX Piranha PS4. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it in this video. Hey guys and welcome to the world of Splitfish Gameware. This is our official YouTube channel and you'll find everything about any of our products right here. Today I'm going to talk about macros on the Fragafix Piranha PS4 and how to adjust them. This video is also the perfect opportunity to talk about the motion trigger function. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you'll never miss a single video. And now, without further ado, let's jump into this video. I'm going to start this video by explaining to you guys what macros are. Macros are sequences of actions such as keystrokes or mouse clicks that can be played back to help with repetitive tasks. They can also be used to replay sequences that are long or difficult to run. You can assign macros on the unit itself and I'm going to show you how. Press the F button and Option Start button simultaneously. Then press the pad left for macro. Then press the button that should trigger the macro. Then press every button you would like to include in your macro, one button after another and a maximum of 10 buttons. Once you've done that, press F button and Option Start button simultaneously again to save the macro. Three macros are programmable. A force macro will override the first, the oldest macro. And now let's make a few examples. I'm going to use my Battlefield 1 Assault profile for this first example. And I would like to create a macro which makes it easier or faster for me to throw an anti-tank grenade in Battlefield 1. Usually I have to press two buttons in order to throw an anti-tank grenade. Now I would like to shorten this process and only press one button in order to throw the anti-tank grenade. And I would like to trigger the macro by scrolling the mouse wheel forward. All I have to press is F button and Option Start button simultaneously. Deep at left for macro. Then the button that should trigger the macro, in this case scrolling the mouse wheel forward. Then deep at right to make the anti-tank grenade ready. Then the shooting button in order to throw the anti-tank grenade. F button and Option Start button simultaneously again and the new macro is created. You can create a macro out of any imaginable sequence. Just remember that 10 buttons is the maximum. And now as promised I'm going to show you what the motion trigger is. The motion trigger is a button on the chuck itself which can be triggered by moving the chuck. I like it especially for knifing, but that's totally up to you. I'm going to use knifing in this example though. As you can see in the video, press the F button and Option Start button simultaneously. Then press the pad left for macro. Then move or shake the chuck. Then press R3 because that's knifing in Battlefield 1. Then press F button and Option Start button simultaneously again and your new macro is created. I could show you guys many many more macro examples, but as you know by now any imaginable sequence with a maximum of 10 buttons is possible, and I'm very sure that you'll find your perfect sequence all by yourself. The last thing you need to know is how to reset your macros. It's the same process as any other special function, but I'm gonna show you how. Press the F button and Option Start button simultaneously. Then press the D-pad button of the function you'd like to reset, in this case D-pad left for macro. Then press F button and Option Start button simultaneously again and the special function is resetted. And that was the tutorial video about the last special function of the Fragafix Piranha PS4, Macro. Hit the thumbs up if this video helped you and leave a comment down below if you need any further information. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.